Many people making resolutions in the new year. This one's pretty timely. Dr. Nandy's here to talk about how we control our hunger. Now, I'm surprised. Well, I guess I kind of know this. There are two types of hunger. Uh, Stephen and I both uh, have strong ones for both here. So there's, yes. there's, the, there's homeostatic hunger and hedonistic hunger. So those are the types. Okay, so what's the difference between the two of them? I, so, I assume uh, hedonistic sounds like you just want it. Yes, and I think both of us yeah. have more hedonistic than homeostatic. But homeostatic is that physical hunger where you actually need the food. You get irritable. You kind of have that idea you need the food. Now, hedonistic hunger, however, is something that, that's an emotional hunger where mm -hmm. you feel like you need to reward yourself. And you don't have those kind of physical signs of it, but you feel like, let's eat a piece of chocolate because I feel, you know, a certain way. So those are the differences. All right, so how can you tell the difference? Because, I mean, in both cases, it would seem you're hungry. Yeah, I think it's a situation that, so if, you, if you're in an emotionally charged situation, you feel like you pick up food, then you know it's a hedonistic, whereas if it's homeostatic, it's, there's, there's no emotional, you know, uh, input, but rather you really haven't eaten for a long time. So I think, and then there's ways you can control uh, both those, and we can really look at those cues and, and find out what, what's going on. All so, right, so let's take a look here, yeah. Yeah, so I think, first of all, control your homeostatic hunger. That means eat healthy, balanced snacks with protein and some comp complex carbohydrates on a regular schedule. Try to eat every three to four hours, as we say. Also, next, pause before you dig in. Mindful eating is important. Equals putting space between, guess what, your hunger trigger and your reaction. Then do a body, mind, heart scan. So, body, do I have physical symptoms of hunger? Mind, do I, do I see food somewhere or see a commercial or something and I'm craving okay. specific food, right? Yeah. And then heart, am I in need of comfort or pleasure? And finally, track your intake with, with apps such as MyFitnessPal that can help you. Also, simple rule, eat until so you're 80% full. That, that's, a, that's a nice trick I use. I'm not sure I know that number, you know, but, but I, I use my watch. <laughs> Basically, I say, is it time to eat? And if it's time to eat, I eat. And if it's not time, I try to avoid eating. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, the big Powerball, of course, is coming up here tonight. It's $1.5 billion. There is not a person on earth right now who doesn't say, oh, I want that there. But it's odds right. of 292 million to one. But we still play. Why? You know, I think it's because we have the Cinderella complex. We feel like somebody's going to come and take us away. And in this case, it's like it's the money, right? It's We feel that the fairy godmother's the money is going to save us. So that, that's part of it. All right, so what are the top three reasons we play then here? On you your know, first of all, jumping on the bandwagon. Right? Yep. I think you bought the yeah, bought does ticket. It. Yeah, sure. You're part of the movement. And so it's the rescue fantasy also that means that your pleasure of living is not based on the current situation, but what could be. And finally, you spend a little with a chance to win a lot. So I think a lot of cheap, lighter tickets are pretty cheap, so people like that. I think I'm on it mainly for the bandwagon thing. It's just fun to it be part of the fun. movement, and everybody talks about it. Exactly. All right, coming up five, what do you have for You us? know, important to the Flint water crisis and its potential link to Legionnaires, wow. what it is and the symptoms you need to look for. That's what we're going to talk about at five. Yeah, that's